डू यू रिमेंबर लेकिन आपका पहला गाना जो आपने प्रॉपरली कंपोज किया था वेन आई वॉज इन आई शो राइट एंड कम्पोज सिंस वेन आई वॉज इन स्कूल इट्स एल्फ सो एज ए किड सो वेन आई वॉज इन माई आई डोट विच ग्रेड मे बी नाइन ग्रेड ऑफ समथिंग आई रोड ए सॉन्ग अबाउट अ गर्ल obviously but, but i studied in a boys school so what then the same steps when we were get, going inside when there was nobody now was coming out when i opened the door these guys rushed and lifted me oh saying man we have never heard a school kid compose write and sing a song on a stage at the age of 19 you already had yeah your I, first... I, even before i finished my school by the time i was in my like after 10th 11th 12th okay, it would okay, be the same okay, school mm-hmm. so by then uh, I got the chance of working for a film and I became a music composer also. <laughs> Yo guys this is DSP and please watch my song DSP's Opari on Hangama. If we go back to when you fell in love with music making how old were you? I think I was born loving music so oh. yeah because my dad loves music my mom loves music my mom cooks in the kitchen playing music only so my dad uh, though by profession he was is uh, was a writer okay. and director and one of the most celebrated legendary writers of telugu film industry uh, but he, he he used to play the guitar sing write lyrics and all just for fun so i think i i don't know. see you really can't when your family is like that you can't know. you are born like that you are born into a musical family Correct. so then but it's because of my mom that uh, my out of my mom's interest she put me into a music class yeah. like uh, i found my guru my great guru mandolin musician was ji so, so I, my instrument is actually mandolin so i learned that so okay. um, that's why most of my songs have this stringed orchestration so i'm so passionate about stringed instruments and i love the guitars and then so that's why there is always a bacha always tells me that bro i love the strength in your melody yeah and uh, so i think i i i owe that thing to my guru manish rasanna i i agree in today's day and age uh, melody ko yaad rakhna in in a way where you know you can hum the the tune as well yeah. is so important and i yeah. think you're doing that and which is fabulous so when when the melody is hummable na like you orchestrate it the way you want yeah. whatever whichever way you do it if the melody is hummable then it will still work because yeah. like you said finally what will relate to the song is the melody yeah. what you will remember is the melody right. you can identify it's like the address of the song the address of that music piece is that melody that right, true yeah do you remember lekin aapka pehla gana jo aapne properly compose kiya tha okay so when i was in school i used to write and compose since uh, when i was in school itself yeah. so as a kid so when i was in my i don't know which grade maybe nine grade or something then i wrote a song about a girl obviously but, but i studied in a boys school so what <laughs> yeah Was my she dad, in your imagination yeah imagination to hoga na <laughs> so i wrote a song okay. and then uh, i was just singing it to my friends uh-huh. in the classroom and said uh, uh, man this song this song sounds so good this song sounds so good and in that time and in that age they were telling me okay you have to make an album you have to make a song i said i just wrote no no you have to so then i got an idea okay then we used to i used to be a part of a lot of cultural you know i used to go participate in the dance competitions mm-hmm. music comp- i used to win the best dancer and best uh instrumentalist oh, in all the competitions nice. and the best entertainer has to do some funny stuff okay on stage so then i thought okay le- i wrote a song all the people in my class started loving it so i thought okay let me try this on a stage huh. and uh, i thought i went and asked they were all my seniors like the people who organized so we have to call anna i need a chance for what da yes i said dal <laughs> da, da means like re kya re why do you need a chance re i said anna i wrote uh, i want to sing a song on stage oh in which but there will be like group singing and solo singing on all that right then under which category i said no and i just want to sing i say who is this guy man <laughs> troubling me first. okay okay wait he said then we waited 5 minutes then again he said no wait 10 minutes so he was not giving us a chance but then i was so excited with the song that i made i had a keyboard on which i could very one keyboard that yeah. my dad got which one eight tracks i could huh. record on that so i put it on a metal tape okay and took it so that people didn't even know the technology back then so i just imagine all that and did that so i played something took it took it like a minus track yeah. okay i did it what we call now so i wanted to play that and sing it over that so this game is not giving me a chance so i was sitting and waiting <laughs> and i was waiting and waiting every break anna one chance anna it's a wait for five minutes again one chance anna so it went till lunch break ha huh. 
So finally this guy got so frustrated with me. He said, no, okay, what song is it? I said, it's a, it's a song that I composed. So he lost his total interest. <laughs> Oh, you, you want to get on the same, sing a song that you composed? Oh, Are you mad? Then he said, take this fellow away. <laughs> I said, Array, what man? I thought this guy is going to say, wow, song. But the reaction was opposite. He said, what? So finally, I again even asked him. So he got, he kind of wanted to get rid of me. Hmm. So finally, so finally he said, um, okay, now you go on stage and sing. So I already trained like four of my friends to sing chorus for chorus. me. Okay. <laughs> so we went to, you know, you know how the school competitions I'm imagining ka stages, it already. Right? Yes, this school competitions ka stages, na. There'll be a stage, then there'll be a door. You go through that. There will be steps, and then you come onto the stage. Huh. We went like this. We went through the steps and came on to say. By the time we came, the, when we were entering, he announced, "Okay, lunch break." So he said, "Okay, go on stage." Then he announced lunch break and went off. By the time we entered, the full house was empty. <laughs> oh my God! So I was picking up the mic, and uh, nobody was there. <laughs> We were like disappointed. My friends were disappointed actually. But I was excited because I got the mic and a, an opportunity to sing my own song. I said, okay, first let's test yeah. what song is. It's okay. Then we told the song is to play. So there was nobody in the auditorium except four of us. Like one and three or four of my friends took with yeah. the chorus. So we started singing. And that song goes like, went like... I'm singing in Tamil because I did that. Oh, we love it. Okay. This was the vibe. Oh, I love it. So I started singing, and my friends were jingi. After every line, they were supposed to sing jingi chikki charo, jingi chikki charo. The rhythm was playing. So I was like, I was dancing away to glory and singing. Then you have these windows in that auditorium, okay? I can never forget this in my entire life. Okay, there were windows and there was nobody in the auditorium. Everybody was eating in the canteens and all that. So one guy peeped into the window. The other guy peeped, the other guy peeped. Then they started putting their plates. One guy came, two guys came, three guys, four guys, five guys, ten guys. By the time I reached the second mukhda, the auditorium was full mm. in the lunch break. They left their lunch and came. I was like, I was like singing, and then I opened, I was like, holy moly. So, and by the time, I, there, there are four stanzas in the song, four mukhdas. Basically, there's no antra, it's like one, two, three, four mm. mukhdas, the pop style. Mm. So that time itself, I did that. So by the time I reached the fourth mukhda, Jingi Chikki Charo, the whole auditorium was singing Jingi Chikki Charo with me. I was like, is this even happening? Said, okay, cool. Then after I finished, everybody clapped and oh I said, once more, once more. God. So we started from the beginning, sang it a second time. Then the same steps when we were going inside, when there was nobody, and I was coming out, when I opened the door, these guys rushed and lifted me. Oh. Saying, man, we have never heard a school kid compose, write and sing a song on a stage. I was like, I couldn't still digest it. <laughs> then the most beautiful part of that was they carried me to the center of the stage. They put, I mean, center of the hall. They put me there. It was an uh, inter-school co competition, huh. which means there will be some 20 schools and uh, 20 drummers, yeah. 20 singers, 20 sets of, yeah. for the music competition that day. They put me in the center, said, bro, sing it now, sing it now, sing it now. Now I was singing it without mic. So, the, but the whole crowd was singing Jingi Chik Charo and these 20 schools, ka 20 drummers ake, they took the tables and with the drums say and we saw, this happened in my real life. Yeah, I was just thinking this is like a film scene. Yeah. I was just going to tell you that, my God. This then I is... went and recorded this song, then, um, then a very big music label that time, I sent it to them, they loved it, they released it. And it became a huge hit with all the kids, school kids and the college kids. And every school, even before the release, they used to invite school and colleges huh. started inviting me to sing this song. And how old were you at that time? I was in my 8th grade or something, 8th okay. or ninth, I think. At the age of 19, you already had Yeah, I, I, first... even before I finished my school, by the time I was in my, we call it plus 2 down south. Like, um, okay. like after 10th, 11th, 12th, okay, they did okay, the same plus school. Two. Mm. So by then... Um, I got the chance of working for a film and I became a music composer also. <laughs> but tabhi aapko laga tha ki itna bada hoga, you're going to be like a rock star, DSP. <laughs> see, it's, I, that's what, even now I don't expect anything from what I'm doing and I don't see the result at all. Even now I don't know what I am. I only enjoy my music. So. <laughs> but how do you feel when people call you rock star, DSP? It's good, that's what, all that is bonus, right? When you're loved, you're happy, that's it. That's true. Yeah, ultimately, that's what even I said in the previous interview, the, when you're happy because you're being loved for what you're doing. Yeah. You're not being loved for what you are. Or you're not. You're, I'm not loved because I'm DSP. 
I'm loved because of the music that I'm making. That's and I love my music. So something that I love is being loved, not me. So my when you love me because of the thing that I'm making, then my love for the thing that I'm making is increasing, right? How so humble. It it keeps reborn. It's like it's like a mother has a baby and, and people love the baby, mother loves them. <laughs> <laughs> so actually nothing belongs to you. So who are you to decide? Um, there is no theory. No, the best part of it is there is no formula to making uh, uh, successful anything. There is no formula, and mm. that's the best part. And yeah. even when you make, even you, there is no guarantee that even the bestest thing that you think you made, there is no guarantee that it's going to be a blockbuster. And an average thing, there is no guarantee that it's not going to work. True. So you better be surprised, man. Yeah. You'll enjoy the ride. <laughs> I'm always surprised, always excited. <laughs> But aise karte karte, you have composed over 100 songs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what inspires you, DSP? Do you, do you also get this block in your head sometimes? How, how does it work for you? I don't know. I just uh, see block. See, then there are two ways to look at it. Sometimes you might not be able to create what you actually need at that point of time. But you'll end up creating something which will work at a later point of time. That's true. So for that, you need to have a, a longer... A vision, yeah. you know, a bigger vision. So most of the time it happens like a director or somebody would want to want a song at that point of time. It's a requirement. Yeah. But when you're in your vibe and when you're creating, it's not a requirement. It's a flow. It's creativity. So there are two different things. Correct. You might be able to serve that requirement. You might fail to serve the requirement. But you're actually creating something which will serve something else. But you should know that at that point of time. That is the beauty of it. True, very and, true. And the same time, when they say, when they say, Sri is amazing, okay. Now, Dinka Chika also is amazing. But imagine putting Sri in Dinka Chika situation, putting Dinka Chika and Sri Valli situation, both will be bad. That's true, that's true. Am I right? Yeah. So, it is knowing where to put that exactly. Hmm. So, that's it. So, there's nothing great that you have done. Yeah. <laughs> Something uh, lovable that you have done, that's it. <laughs> Uh, of course, since you brought the topic out, let me just be honest. I haven't. He's brought the topic out. We have to talk about Pushpa. Come on. Yes. Now, how about we not? How can we not talk about <laughs> it? <laughs> Tell us about this massive album. This is a film which hit hui for so many reasons. And music played such an important role. And I'm so happy. Because in today's time, music is there. But for music to stand out and you know create records, it's all you. <laughs> <laughs> and most importantly, let me also say that having an album which has hit all songs in all songs, which is also so rare. And in all languages. In all languages. In all languages. Even I'm surprised. God. How? Wow. So <laughs> humble. So, <laughs> matlab, no. <laughs> See, the thing is, we, are, uh, we all worked really sincerely for this. And regarding music, um, I, I sat with each and every lyricist. And a lot of work went into it because I wanted the Malayalam version to sound exactly like Malayalam, Kannada to sound like that. So then it's a thought process. Then the thought has to be uh, the fl it has to be it has to travel to the other boundary, other zone yeah. without losing its original flavor, and that becomes the biggest uh, uh, toughest task. And then the other language might not be able to express the same uh, feeling yeah. in the same musical meter that you are giving. In the same uh, beautiful way. Yeah. Then you have to you'll have to work, 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 work. It take they, there'll be an option. See, it, nothing is impossible. First, if you can believe firmly that line, then you will know that it some at some point it'll be possible. But when do you arrive at that point that nobody knows? But you have to, you know, the toughest part becomes like you have to keep up your fire till you get there. Right. So you might lose it somewhere halfway. That's true, that's true. My only strength is that I don't lose that. But also choosing the right singers for yeah. like in all uh, language, choosing yeah. the exact singer, uh, who emote bhi itne andaz mein kiya, whether yeah. you know it was in Hindi or Telugu or Malayalam. Yeah. Every every uh, song had a very very special feel to it, and we've loved all languages. Har singer ho na, me me mere voice mixing pe. So now imagine five five times I was recording each song with five five singers. Okay. To record one song itself, some hundred times I'll sing. To get that, no, this is no one more, no one more, one more. Now imagine how many times I would have done that. Now, or after recording Telugu, after or after recording Hindi, or after recording. Now, if I if the fire starts going down, then yeah. I won't be able to do justice. So I have to keep 
pop that fire in me first. True, true, true. And do the same thing all all over again. Correct. Okay, okay. Now Tamil is done. Ah, okay. Now Kannada. Okay, start again. Again, you're getting doing another song is okay, is right. easy. But doing the same song again is a tough task. Which was the most challenging one out of all the tracks? No, that's what it was. The same for everything and every song. I'm not now after composing, after orchestrating, after recording all the orchestra and all that. Then sitting with the lyricist, then getting the lyrics done. Every day I said, okay, today Malayalam lyricist, please come. No, I used to sit with them. Then Kannada lyricist, please come. But even Sukumar sir, Alu Arjun and all. Didn't think I was doing that. They thought, okay, we are done with the Telugu version. Yeah. Like other version, like other dub, dubbing films, now they just send it over. Somebody writes, somebody sings, and sends it off. But none of my films, I, I never did that. Yeah. I mean, any of my films, even back when I did Singam and all that, hmm. I sat with both the lyricists. Even by, I'm talking to the Tamil and Telugu. Yes, I know that. So then this thing, I did it five times. Yeah. But each voice dub, na, for each song, uh, it took me for uh, for like one month to one and a half months. Each song. Then imagine, then the next song, then the next song. So I think all that hard work kind of paid, and um, we got the look back. <laughs> <laughs> so in me say, कौन सा गाना आप हमें सुनाना चाहेंगे? See now, this is a challenging part. I love it. This is a very nice way of asking to. <laughs> okay, okay, Shivali. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, I'll sing the hook line because I really love the sounding of the words, and I wanted to make it a very Sufi song in Hindi. You can do okay. any version of it. Yeah. We are okay listening to all versions. No, I love the Javed Ali. Javed Ali song. I mean, the whole thing was amazing. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> तेरी झलक अशरफी श्रीवल्ली ने नामद बर्फी तेरी झलक अशरफी श्रीवल्ली बातें करे दो हरफी सी दिस इज आल्सो व्हेन यू वांट टू यू वांट टू हम द ट्यून इट्स सो ब्यूटीफुल या सो इवन द सॉन्ग द सॉन्ग आई हैव द Even the other day in a talk show, I played the very first recording. The very first day I created the song. Just put my phone on record and I started strumming. Hmm. In four and a half minutes, the whole song happened. So like, eh, eh, eh. that's how I composed the <laughs> love intro. Love it, love it, love it. One of my favorite tracks as well. Thank you, sir. Oh, Karan Johar sir called me and he said we have to meet because he sent me a long message saying uh, I love your Dinka Chika and all that and all. I'm in love with Pushpa. We have to meet sometime. So then we met. And he spoke so beautiful for a long time about music, and uh, about Sri Valli especially. Yeah. And he said Sri Valli is going to stay forever in Hindi music in the top tracks. And uh, I I felt that was one of the best compliments from such a legendary person. Uh, we loved every bit of talking to you, Thank having you. these interactions, so knowing you very more closely now. Thank you. Uh, Lekin, a hmm? request hai, jo camera ke piche log baithe na. वो नाराज हो जाएंगे क्योंकि सबकी रिक्वेस्ट आई है सीटी मारने की okay. आपको हिंट तो समझ में आ ही गया होगा सीटी मारना नहीं आता है मेरे लेकिन गाना तो आता है आप गाना तो गाना तो आता है तो गा तो सकते हैं सीटी मार सीटी मार सीटी मार सीटी मार सीटी मार बट दैट तो एक एंड ओहो उतना ही होता है ओके सीटी मार सीटी मार सीटी मार सीटी मार सीटी मार जपी मार जपी मार जपी मार जपी मार जपी मार लव इट लव इट डीएसपी रॉकस्टार डीएसपी मेरे साथ थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग सो अमेजिंग एंड ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट वी लुक फॉरवर्ड टू मोर एंड मोर मैडनेस डांस नंबर्स एंड मोर एंड मोर क्रेजीनेस फ्रॉम यू थैंक्स अ लॉट एंड थैंक्स फॉर ऑल द सपोर्ट बट राइट नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर ओ परी ओ परी ओ परी 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 राम Rama Hare Bolo Krishna Krishna Hare Thank you guys for already pouring in in your love for Opari but right now people who haven't watched go right away and watch Opari on the YouTube channel of T series Thank you so much that was Rockstar DSP and mai hu Urmin thank you so much guys for watching me and DSP on Hangama Yo guys this is DSP and please watch my song DSP's Opari on Hangama